Hey everybody, this is Joby, and um, today I'm going to show you how to get the lead for the Boethra statue, which is a really cool statue. I'll take you back to my house and show you. I already got the lead. Uh, the way you get it is from Southern Ellsworth Dragons. But before we start uh, in on getting the lead, I'd like to ask everybody to please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because that's the best way you can support the channel. I make uh, videos every single day. I have about 340 videos in my catalog on all sorts of subjects dealing with ESO. And if you like the content, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You can join me on Discord. Uh, it's a very chill server. Everybody's talking about ESO. We've got the Dormer Automaton. It's a lot of fun. If anybody would like to support the channel, you can also donate to my PayPal. There's a link in the about section of my channel. My content will always be free, but if anybody's uh, wanting to donate, it'll certainly be appreciated. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first of all, I just turned in my quests for Chisbari the Chipper. It's in, I'm in Tide Home, which is over here on this little island. To open up these quests, you have to have done 30 quests for the Dragon Guard. Uh, if you go to your journal and achievements, go down to Dragon Hold, which is Southern Elsewhere. Uh, go down to Quests. It will be these. The first one, when it starts out, will be a call to arms. That's for killing four dragons. And then Restoring Order is 12 dragons. And then Reforging the Dragon Guard 20. When you've done 30, you're a Dragon Guard operative. And you'll be able to get the box. Actually, to open up these quests, you need to do the first three quests so if we go to the zone guide you can see the um, storyline quests you just need to do down to uneasy alliances and then the third one is really simple all they do is say go talk to Saizahan and then go talk to the little Khajiit and you go back and then that's done and that's that quest so it's really like two quests and then just uh, very fetchy go back and forth and then it's open it'll open this and also dirge Trupter when you do 30 of these quests that's when you'll be able to get the box downstairs, which gives you dragon blood, dragon room, and um, the dragon bile. And also gives you the new moon priest um, motif pages. All right, so what we're going to do to get the lead is all you have to do is kill the dragons. So I'm going to head out there right now and uh, do some dragons. I'll see you out there. Okay, so I've landed at the Ellsworth, um, Southern Ellsworth, where I'm going to go. The dragon's here. Let's head over there. There'll probably be a lot of people. I tried to get the other one that I was I first saw, but he actually died, so if they're cracky in the icon, it's pretty much pretty much hopeless to try to go there. You won't make it. Not with an attitude like that, you won't. <laughs> Gotta be positive, bro. So we're going this way. He's up here. Let's see, seeing that soul tear. Okay, so there he is down there, and uh, I'm gonna ride over here so I don't mess my gear up any more than it already is. Get some hits in on him. Good old soul tear. Gotta love it. He's either gonna land. If he doesn't land, he'll do a carpet. Okay, he's gonna land, so it's all good. I don't know if I'll get the lead again. It's just RNG, but this is definitely where you get the lead for the statue. Uh, after we're done here, I'm gonna go back to my house and show everybody the statue. It's very, very nice. Um, and all the pantheons, most of the gods will always have a male and female representation. And Boethra is like the female version of Boethia. And Bo Boethia is that if you do veteran Dragon Star Arena, you get um, the title, which is Scythe of Boethia. Boethia is the male version. And... Uh, Boethra, the female version, is worshipped by the Khajiits. Like, they're both like the god of sneaky deals and assassins and stuff like that. So uh, 
you'll see it's a very nice statue, very big. You put it in your house. I know a lot of people don't like housing. I understand that, so you won't be interested in this. Some people don't have Greymore, so definitely don't care about that. But for me, uh, I love Greymore. Greymore was actually gifted to me, so when people try to tell me that it's not free, I beg to differ. Uh, kind subscriber gifted me the uh, the expansion, and uh, it was a very nice thing to do, and I'm loving it. I love the antiquities. When I first started, I was I was like, who'd want a house? What is that good for? But I think it's great. Found out it's a great place to do your writs and just have, uh, you know, put tables and stuff like that. So for me, it's incredible. Very um, useful and, you know, I have my transmute station in there so I don't have to go anywhere. And I'm slowly but surely very slowly getting the different sets that I'll use and stuff like that so you know something that's worth it to me and then put the statues and stuff it's great don't have to spend crowns to decorate the house not that I would anyway because I always use gold to buy anything that I want the DLCs and stuff like that because farming gold's quite easy okay so the dragon's dead just loot the body. You see all this stuff? Dragon Room, Dragon Blood, Dragon Ball. Those things sell for like seven to 800 easy. And uh, I have 323 of the room because it came later, 677 and 770. So it's, uh, it's quite a bit. So all you really have to do is if you want to farm the lead for this, that I'm going to show you the statue. You just simply need to find these areas. If you don't have the quest, you can just port straight in to Senchal. If you have ESL Plus or if you have um, the DLC, you just port straight into Senchal and uh, head over and you can do any of these. You know, go to these way shrines. Dragons will land in this area. If you ha do have the Tide Home quest, there'll be circles that'll show you the area where they are just run back and forth farm it with everybody if you don't like farming then there's nothing you can say you just don't do it so let's head to my house now and I will show you that statue okay so this is the statue of Boethra as you can see it's huge uh, she's standing there with her pet which is some kind of uh, I don't know what it is like a not a cinch but very cool gigantic statue uh, like I said she's the goddess of the Khajiit so it's in southern elsewhere and uh, easy to get you just go there and you get a lot of other stuff some people will tell me oh you can just farm other stuff but it's a uh, you get multiple items you get the motifs when you turn in the quest you get uh, the three reagents you get documents satchels that'll have all kind of um, different documents if we look inside what I was farming the dragons uh, I got a heavy sack 10 pumpkins use those for the witches festival and I did not get a half digested um, backpack like I usually do and inside will have all kind of stuff maybe blueprints you just never know that's really about it for today. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see. If you have any ideas for videos. Or if you need any help with anything. And I'll be glad to help you. Um, you can hit me up on Xbox One. My name is Coyote. C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. And uh, all you need to do is if you want to join my guild. You just send me a message. And add me as a friend. And then I will add you to the guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity. Right now there are 22 people online with 110 members. A lot of nice people. We did uh, Vet Ice Reach today with some guildies. And uh, it's very fun. We uh, do a lot of stuff. We run dailies. We do uh, many things during the day. You can also join me on Discord. There'll be a link in the description. And uh, Discord's very fun. It's like our own private Reddit server. So until that time, let's get paid.